we will be comparing fractions with like denominators. I'm really excited, so let's jump into it. If you look on the board, I have three symbols. The greater than symbol, the less than symbol, and the equal to symbol. Remember, the alligator always wants to eat the greater number. All right, just want to make sure you didn't forget. So now that we've reminded ourselves about these three symbols, let's do these problems. We have three fifths, and we have to ask ourselves, is it less than, greater than, or equal to four fifths? We have like denominators. Therefore, we can go straight to the numerators to figure this answer out. We have a numerator of 3 and a numerator of 4. We know that 3 is less than 4. So we will read this 3 fifths is less than 4 fifths. Let's go to the next one. We have 5 sevenths is less than, greater than, or equal to 3 sevenths. We know, once again, we're dealing with like denominators, so we look at the numerator. So we're looking at the numerator 5 and the numerator 3, and we all know that 5 is greater, so we will read this 5 sevenths is greater than 3 sevenths. Moving right along, 4 sixths is less than, greater than, or equal to 4 sixths. Once again, we're dealing with like denominators, so we look at the numerator. We have a numerator 4 and a numerator 4. They're the same, so 4 sixths is equal to 4 sixths. Now let's go to the last problem. Are you ready? 2 eighths, 6 eighths. Once again, like denominators, look at the numerator. The numerator 2 and the numerator 6. We all know that the numerator 2 is smaller than the numerator 6. Therefore, 2 eighths is less than 6 eighths. This concludes our lesson on comparing fractions with like denominators. This has been Coach Mike at My Growing Brain. Challenge yourself.